the head of FEMA attempting to set the record straight. After her agency has been repeatedly accused of an inadequate response to Hurricane Helene by former President Trump. Kamala spent all her FEMA money, billions of dollars, on housing for illegal migrants. Deanne Criswell responding on CNN. One, it's just categorically false. And I can assure you that no funding has been taken from the disaster relief funds. In the last two years, FEMA has distributed more than $1 billion in taxpayer money to shelter migrants in cities across the U.S. But the White House and FEMA both say that's a separate government program, not for disaster relief, adding there's no evidence funds have been diverted. The vehement defense comes as the federal government rushes to prepare Florida for a second hurricane. Governor Ron DeSantis saying Monday the government is working with his state. We have gotten what we need from the feds. The federal government also sending an additional 500 troops to North Carolina to help with search and rescue efforts and to bring aid to people left with little after Hurricane Helene. Some residents, especially in remote towns, say they haven't seen any federal aid. Have they come to your neighborhood, knocked on your door? No. One common false rumor that FEMA will only provide families $750. So we're into almost $300 billion for Ukraine, and yet they're offering people $750. For immediate needs. For the worst, yeah, yeah but for the worst hurricane that anybody's seen. That $750 is just for urgent essential items like food, water, and other emergency supplies, while FEMA assesses people's eligibility for more. FEMA forced to set up a web page to dispel the rumors. The U.S. Secretary of Homeland Security says he's never seen misinformation spread at this level, and it hurts the hurricane victims. It shows distrust in their government, and therefore they don't seek the help that they truly need. North Carolina Governor Roy Cooper and FEMA have been on the ground trying to reassure residents that help and funding are here. Already tens of millions of dollars in aid have been approved, and they estimate that up to 90 percent of the power could be back on today. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.